We're really excited. We've had a couple weeks to uh, really get in the classroom, focus on academics, and kind of get our feet on the ground in the weight room and ready to put the baseball side of it to it. We had new coaching staff last year. We had nine returners, I think, from the year before. So I mean, it was kind of a bunch of new guys all in the, in the program. And uh, this year, having 20 guys coming back, having all the coaches coming back except for one, and adding Coach Gardner, that'll help a lot. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, I mean, we're going to know what to do. We're going to know what to expect. And that way, we can just get right after it. I think that's a main key, because you look at last year, and you know, like the new coaching and everything, it made it kind of different for everyone. It was hard to get used to. But now, having 20 returners, we kind of know what to expect. And we can go out and get business taken care of. I feel really good about the, direct, the direction of where our program's going. I think we've got 10 or 11 commitments in the 14 class. And, couple in the 15 class and feel really good about this 13 class that's on campus and I uh, got some guys on the mound that we know are going to be able to help and got some guys swinging the bat that'll help also. Well I'd like to think that I improved a lot I mean I got a I got a great pitching coach Ray Hayward we developed a little bit of a new little sinker I got going I've been working on it that's just something that that's just one asset I guess but I, I would say hopefully I've improved but we're not going to know anything until, until I get out there on the mound and really until Big 12 play uh, starts and we'll find out. really took the lead from Trey Massick last year. He's a great leader and uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and work. Man, that guy, that guy was an awesome guy and he works extremely hard and if we can take what he developed and keep it going, then our pitchers are going to get exponentially better and I think it's going to be huge. The pitching staff we're going to have, they're going to shut some people down. So I mean, just we just got to find ways to score runs. I mean, we got Dominic Marino starting. We got Corey Taylor coming back. We got Jonathan Tripp, Matt Withrow. I mean, you can name the guys off the list. But uh, if we can find ways to score runs, they're gonna they're gonna be the they're gonna carry the team. So we just got to find a way to score some runs. I think it's always gonna be about pitching and defense with the BB core bat. I mean, if you can if you can pitch and play defense, you got a chance. Uh, we still got the guys that can run. We still got a few guys that hit the ball out of the ballpark, maybe a couple more. And uh, obviously we'll let that, we'll let our players dictate that. I mean, if a guy's out playing another guy and he's got a little more power, so be it. It depends on what you define as breakout. I would, I would hope our program has a breakout. And just speaking of that, I mean, just before we get any further, we hadn't even talked about a football game last night. And, uh, I mean, everybody that's associated with that's to be commended. And, uh, obviously, our, I think our students, I mean, you guys have heard me talk about our students can make such a big difference. 16,000 students in the stands is pretty impressive. And uh, you're sitting there watching that as a baseball guy or a, basically a, you know, a member of the athletic department. You're going, boy, these students can really make a difference.